Okay, now remember this is just a storyboard, but here is our preliminary total tank TV spot. Okay, now we've got Santa, he's up in the North Pole, he's getting ready for Christmas. Oh, no. Can we continue here? Okay. Now this year, Santa's not going out in a sleigh. This time, he's going total tank. <laughs> Wait a minute. No way. No way Santa's going anywhere without his sleigh. He would if he's trying to sell the total tank. Every holiday season, there's one toy everyone has to have. I want the Turbo Man action figure with the arms and legs that move, and the Rock and Roll and Jetpack, and the Boomerang Shooter. Getting it is every child's dream. Whoever doesn't can be a real loser. Finding it. You got the doll, right? Is this father's nightmare. I'll get that toy. I promise. Whoa! Nothing like waiting till the last minute, I would say. Especially on Christmas Eve. Double <laughs> in your mind! They're all gone. These two are looking for a turbo man. <laughs> <laughs> yes, your Christmas spirit. The last one just left. No. <laughs> it's two fathers. This is war. One mission. <laughs> Baby. <laughs> and every man for himself. I'm thinking maybe, you know, we could join up as a team. You know, like, like Starskin Hutch. We're well, late delivery of Turbo Man at Toy Wars. Let's go. Is there a problem, officer? <laughs> you can never do too much to make a child's Christmas magical. Hey, buddy. <laughs> From the director of Mrs. Doubtfire. You want a Turbo Man for Christmas? Forget it. I'm not going to sit in your lap. Tony, show him. That was taken this morning. And from the director of the Flintstones. Don't open that up. No, no, no. Of course, there's uh, some assembly required. You know what you guys are? Nothing but a bunch of sleazy con men in red suits. <laughs> Arnold Schwarzenegger. <laughs> Sinbad. I work for the post office and I'm unstable. Tell him. This man is totally insane. Thank you. Christmas comes, but once a year. No! Jingle all the way. You picked the wrong day. Hello. Hopefully this comes in okay. It's a little small microphone. <laughs> Not one that I'm used to using. But basically, for this week, I just want to show you one new effect that will kind of make it look like an action figure, okay? So I'm going to go to my new file. Set it to 15 by 15, 72 resolutions. And looks good here. Create. Okay. So if I was a smart Tony, I would give you a blank blister, blister card. Okay. If you want, it's white, but that's what it looks like. Maybe you want it black. Okay. Ooh. Control A. Control C. Control V. Control T. Just make it a little bit bigger. There you go. Now, if you notice at first glance, the shape is terrible. Okay. I don't really care too much about the shape. I can then put a gradient on it. You know, something like this gives it that extra little. So I'm actually, because I'm kind of doing the boys motif, so I'm going to go kind of with a green with a black. Okay. I'm going to press OK. Now, I'm going to press OK, let that simmer. Go back into it, go in there, pattern. On pattern. Kind of get texture. I guess we can't do both at time. Never mind. So then from here, basically, okay. So I want to make it look a little smoother. So I'm going to go to stylize oil paint. Oil paint. I'm going to scale it up. Detail brush, 10, 10. And then just a little of this, a little of that. It's okay. Okay, so I'm not going to really play with the gradients. I'm going to actually go, made a blank layer and put it under it. Control E. Okay. Okay. I'll play with that later in a second. Okay. So now what I want to do. Let's create a new layer. 
All right. Then what I want to do is go to shapes. I want to create a box. We have not used shapes in here ever, but I kind of want to just give it that shape of where I'm going to put my figure. Okay. So I'm just going to make it here. And then if you notice here, give it a little around it, a little bit. Okay. So that's a little excitement there. Okay. So I'm going to make it a box. Now, what I want to do here is click on this, go to bevel. Okay. Now when I'm on the bevel, believe it or not, I'm going to do a couple of things. So interior bevel, that's nice. Outer bevel is there. Interior is what I want. Okay. So keep that in mind. So bevel, say smooth. Depth, I'd say maybe like 70-ish. 70 to 80, right around there. Direction up, size. I want it subtle, so kind of 10. Soft, crank that to zero. Okay. Now this one, set that to black. There we go. Okay, and then this one we're going to set to ring. Yep, ring. So there we go. And everything looks good there. So what I'm going to do now is press OK. Set the contour ring as well. See, now you see it kind of looks like a blister package, okay? I'm going to press OK. Now I'm going to change my fill to zero. Now it's starting to look like an action figure package, right? It's all about those blends. Okay. Probably do the same thing on this. Since I have an active contour, just give it that little extra detail there. Press OK. That's if you want to do it. You don't have to. Okay. So now with that one, keep in mind what I want to do now is get my subject on there. Whatever subject you want. Okay, mine is Soldier Boy from the boys. So I already have him by himself. Okay. So I'm going to go Control A, Control C, Control V. Now I got to fit him into the package. Okay. Just going to put him kind of over here. And depending on the subject, I might go back later during the week and actually find one when he doesn't have a shield. Let's keep that in mind. So I could actually turn that off. Okay. So I got my soldier boy. Okay. So the big thing too is how do you make a person look like an action figure? Well, got him. So I'm going to go up to filter, blur, surface blur. I don't use a lot of blurs, but this is one that I definitely use. So keep that in mind. Okay. So I'm going to go to surface blur and basically with surface blur, I kind of want to set it to like kind of in the 10 range threshold around 15. Okay. See that's before that's after before after. See how it smooths it out a little, put that there. Okay. Now this one, I'm going to go to the bevel. Now the big thing about bevel, keep in mind, have it on inner bevel, smooth. And then the thing is, is I want to change this one to this. See how that works? So ring, bevel. Okay. Opacity, turn that down. Just a little. And right about here. Let's give them a little plasticky vibe. You could always play with this too. You know, right about here. Okay. And the big thing is, is I want to put a drop shadow on them. Not too heavily, and I want to multiply it. Okay. So let me restore defaults. Multiply. Okay. So everything's looking good here. Kind of want to angle it just a little distance. Not too far. Spread's good. Size just slightly. Cool. And the contour is there. There we go. Everything looks good there, okay? Cool. So I'm starting to build the action figure. 
So I'm going to make a copy of it just in case I screw something up. So next what I want to do is select my subject. Select subject. Okay. Then I'm going to go select, modify. Band. So when I do this, I'm going to do 40. Okay, just get that blister around them. If I want to just color it white real quick. Okay, so I don't need that. Put that on. Boom. Okay, so I got all that. Now I want to change my fill to zero, of course. But now I do this, bevel, contour. Give the fill just a little. There we go. Press OK. Put a little mask on it. Now what I could do is here and here. I want to just paint this out to get it close to them, but not exact. Okay. I want to give it a nice even shape. There we go. Apply on your mask. And you can fix your bevels still too. I could also turn off the contour, which you kind of want to do. Ah, that's what I need to do. I need to change that to this one. There we go. Yeah. There we go. There we go, our bevel, press OK. OK, so now from there, I could do almost anything I want because now when I turn this on, it looks like he's in the package. The only thing I will say is I'm going to press Shift, Control T, just shrink him just a little bit, OK? So any accessories you do to him and anything else, you'd want to do the same thing. Then from there, you want to put the text and whatever else you want to do up top. You could use Illustrator and everything else. <clears throat> then with this one too, you can also go into filters, filter gallery, artistic, plastic wrap. Give it a little plastic wrap. Detail, right about there. Smoothness, right about there. Just to give it that sheen of a toy, okay? There you go. That's on the blister card itself, so just keep that in mind. Then from there, I could put... Something like boy, control T, soldier boy. There we go. I actually kind of like that font, if I'm being totally honest with you. So I'm gonna just go and do some effects to it. Put some bevel on there. Too soft. There we go. I'm actually going to do a drop shot on that too. And then change the opacity up. There we go. And remember too, what's cool is like, let's say I want to continue with this. I can then change my size down to here. First, seven. That actually looks really good. And you could add features to them. You could add action features like maybe the shield, etc. I'm going to try to do a couple of these, so keep that in mind. And then from there, that's pretty much an action figure, okay? You could go into more details here. Like the other thing too that I always like to do now is go into filters, go to the actual like stylize, oil paint, and <laughs> Oh, 
There we go. That really gives them that action figure feel. Dude, ever since they updated oil paint, I kind of want to do this on everything now. Because look at him. He looks like it before. Still looks like a human. Stylized. Oil paint. There we go. Not so human. And that's the start of it. From there, you could do different effects, other things. You could add filters. You could add background. You could put it on a shelf, that sort of thing, okay? So that's how you would do a packaging for this week. That's really the only new thing we're going to go over this week. And then, of course, make sure layer, flatten image, file, save as on your computer, your name, and demo. I'm going to do Noisy Boy too for the demo too, so keep that in mind. Got the blister package. I'm actually going to make a better blister package to tell you the truth. That one was terrible, but still, got the got the demo done. All right, peace.